Well, it's Monday and a new lesson here on Tack Room Devotional. Hey, I'm Keith Brown. I'd like to introduce you to my buddy here. Yeah, we've had some snow here in Idaho, and so it's been pretty cold, and uh, hopefully the weather will change again so I can get back on horseback. Hey, um, this week I want to talk to you about another very important topic, but I'm going to start off with something that we've already talked about. We've talked about the kingdom of God. But um, we've talked about the, that the fact that the kingdom of God is in us, right? But I want to go on now, and the Bible tells us that the kingdom of God must be preached throughout uh, the, the earth. If you look in Matthew chapter 10 and verse 7, it says this. By the way, it's in red letters, so it's Jesus speaking, and he says, And as you go, preach, saying, The kingdom of God is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out demons. Freely you have received, freely give. A bunch of things are said in just those few little um, uh, words, but Jesus is telling us that um, the reason we're here is to preach the gospel of the kingdom of God. Now remember we prayed this, or he told us to pray this way, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Now it's not talking about someday in the great by and by, it's talking about right now. God's kingdom is manifest on the earth through his people. And so here it tells us that we're supposed to go and preach. But also notice it says, and heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, and raise the dead, um, and cast out devils. In other words, it tells us something about the principles of the kingdom of God. There's no devil that can stand under the power and the unction of the Holy Spirit. It's got to go. Sickness has got to go. Lack has got to go. All these things don't line up with the kingdom of God, and it's for you and I to preach that. Notice over in Luke uh, chapter 9, this is what it says. Jesus calls his disciples together, and he tells them, hang on, it's here someplace. He says, then he called his 12 disciples together, gave them power and authority over demons and to cure diseases, and he sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to the heal the sick. And he said to them, take nothing uh, for the journey, neither staff, nor bag, nor bread, nor money, and do not uh, have two tunics. And so it goes on. He's saying, go out and preach the kingdom of God is at hand. That's what we're supposed to do. But again there, he says, lay hands on the sick and cast out devils. Why? Because that is the manifestation of the kingdom of God. These can't, things cannot function when the kingdom of God is present. So here he tells his disciples to go. And, and by the way, um, <clears throat> can you just imagine them all there? And Jesus says, okay, I'm giving you all power and authority. Go cast out devils and, and, uh, and preach the kingdom of God and heal the sick. And they all probably looked at each other and said, you feel anything? You feel anything? I don't feel anything. I feel the same. They probably were doubting whether they had the power and the authority. And yet later on we find out they come back and go, wow, even the demons are subject to us in your name. Look at Luke chapter 10. Because uh, after... It says this, verse 1, After these things the Lord appointed 70 others also, and sent them two by two before his face into every city and place where he himself was about to go. And he said to them, The harvest truly is great, but the labors are few. Therefore pray the Lord of the harvest to send out the labors into his, uh, uh, into his harvest. Go your way. Behold, I send you as lambs among wolves, carrying neither money bag and so forth. It tells us that he sends us into the world, what, for? To preach the gospel of the kingdom of God, that it's at hand. And we go there under the power and the unction of the Holy Spirit to heal and, and to deliver and set free. Why do we do that? Because it's a, it's a witness that the kingdom of God is at hand. We're going to pick this up tomorrow. Boy, there's some good stuff here, so don't go away. Hey, I'm Keith Brown. This is Tack Room Devotional. Remember, Jesus loves you. We love you. We pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.